This is a very simple demonstration of the use of guards on transitions in state machines. The diagram happens to be for SysML, but the same principles apply for UML. I'm showing here a state machine diagram, state chart. I happen to also have embedded diagram overviews for convenience, so we can see the entire system at once. Let's look first at the block. It has a value property, starts at zero. It has two signal receptions defined. These correspond to the signals that cause transitions in the state machine. These are the signals. It's important to define these signal receptions in Cameo Simulation Toolkit. Otherwise, you can get spurious effects, such as creation of additional signal elements. It's also consistent with FUML. It has a classifier behavior, the state machine. And there's one owned behavior, an opaque behavior, that simply echoes this value to the screen. It's intended here to be a reusable behavior. Now let's look at the state machine. We enter here and there's an entry behavior, which is the echo behavior. However, it in fact calls this small wrapper, which uses a call behavior action to call the small opaque behavior. The reason this is done is that an entry, do activity or exit behavior of a state must be owned by it. Now we could ask, why not just create the opaque behavior under the state? Well, we could, but then it would not be reusable. The intention is that echo v could be used in other locations in an expanded version of this block. So we have a wrapper activity, with a call behavior action that invokes the opaque behavior. Okay, let's look at the transitions. There are two transitions out of this state. This one is only taken if this condition is not met. Until the value is equal to two, this transition will be taken. They're using the same signal to trigger. However, this is using the special guard else. This is using an opaque expression guard in the default scripting language of Cameo Simulation Toolkit. Here's the effect of the transition. In this case, the effect is again a simple opaque expression. The body just increments the value. So whenever this transition is taken, the value will increase. Because this is an external transition, this entry behavior will be called and will echo the value whenever this transition is taken. Finally, we can exit from the done state here. Let's now execute the simulation running with context. Start the simulation. And we have these triggers here. We see that it has already entered the echo entry activity here and has printed the value of a variable. So we can use our little triggers to perform an increment. And it also prints our new value here. Let's do one more.
value is 2. Okay, if we do one more because the value is equal to 2, although we are using the same signal, the guard is different. So now we get the transition to done and we can exit.